Welcome to a video from thedigitallifes.com We've got an update for the Surface Duo 2 that came out yesterday, that's the June update I haven't done one of these update videos for a while but I thought I'd do one because there's actually some not, not worthy change in this So this is for the June uh, the June update for the Duo 2, not the original du uh, Duo They usually do those as a separate uh, update and probably come in pr pretty soon So what's new in this update? Well I've got a blog post with the details on but the first thing is the glance bar. So that's the bar on the side here that shows up. And uh, I'm going to try and show you what that looks like. So the notification is something like this. Um, I'm just showing you the charging one here because I can sort of do it on demand. So this is the down the display. You get currently, you, or you used to just get notifications for Microsoft products, so like Teams, you get a um, a purple bar there when you the team notification they now uh, say they support third-party conversation apps so i'm guessing that things like whatsapp so you're going to see the notifications color uh, bar come up, up on there it's actually quite handy you have it on your desk like that and you see these notifications come up so the else they've done is enabled haptic control in the camera settings so i'm going to see what that's like so what the haptic control does is when i go into take a photo like that it takes a photo, that's with it off. I've now got the option of switching this on, haptic feedback on, and so I take a photo and I get the sort of the the, the haptic feedback. You know, it's very mild, but it's there and it works too. So the other thing is the pen, the Duo, uh, the Surface Slim Pen 2, it will automatically do a firmware update when you Bluetooth pair it with the device, which is, which is good, save so you having to do it through a PC or something else. So the pen feature is automatic pairing of Slim Pen 2 while inking on either on either screen, and it requires your latest firmware of that. So I guess what that means is it'll automatically pair the device up to your to your surface uh, when you start to use it, uh, which is quite a nice feature. And I just have powered mine up before, and uh, one note popped up, so um, uh, th that's probably because I've linked this already. Um, the other thing is enabled optimized charging overnight to reduce battery aging. So um, I charge mine overnight. I actually use one of those magnetic USB-C cables. Actually, I'm just taking off one of these little magnetic ones like that. And um, I leave mine charge overnight and they've improved that so it should I think I'm guessing it trickle charge it so not to damage the, the battery or reduce wear on the battery. And then enable device firmware um, configuration interface. I think that's for man remote managing the devices. Other things like device stability, system impro improvements, touch responsiveness, camera usability have all been improved. And improvement for in app camera experience in dual screen mode for applications with dynamic orientation requirements. So I guess what that is, is if you're in an application that uses the the camera, it understands that it's got the, the rotate mode. I think the built-in camera app already uh, gets you know, understands that, but I think perhaps some third-party apps don't. But anyway, that working for that. And the camera is is fast. It's always been pretty fast on the Duo, and this update seems to continue that. It keeps it nice and fast. So those are the changes in the June update for the Surface uh, Duo 2. Of course, it includes all the security updates, the Android security updates for, for um the duo as well. You can find out more on thislifestyle.com and on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.